Also, please sit down. Please Thank sit you. down. Please sit down. Your name? So my name is Arpit Sangal. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering because your form did not talk of the IPS and in the option uh, services you have opted the two services. So I was going to ask you, could he just sent me the DAF? Yes, sir. That uh, there was some confusion about that. Have you joined the IPS or you are on extraordinary leave? Sir, I am on extraordinary leave. Okay, that's very nice. So you went only, how many marks you got when you got into the IPS? Sir, I got 956. In the interview, I got 168 marks. Um, that was the only time you went for interview? Yes, sir. We'll start. Please tell us something about yourself. Sir, my name is Arpit Sangal. I come from Shamli district in the westernmost part of Uttar Pradesh. I did my graduation in B.Tech in Mathematics and Computing from IIT Delhi. I graduated in 2018. Since then, I was preparing for UPSC Civil Services examination. Last year, I got selected into Indian Police Service. And currently, I am on extraordinary leave from the service. Okay. You, Mr. Apit, you tell me about uh, police reform. You are a policeman, at least. Uh, you have joined the service. What police reforms are needed in the country? Uh, sir, first, it, it, in the uh, policing reforms, one is related to the tenure. There has been recommendation that the post of SHO, IG, SP, and DGP should have a tenure of two years. And in only extra, extraordinary circumstances, that should be breached. The so second is separation of law and order and investigation. Okay. And we have to establish boards so that there can be complaints if there is any misconduct on the part of police officers. Sir, also there should be state level commissions and national level commissions to ensure that there is less political interference in the working of policing. Sir, also there has been seen that there are vacancies currently in police. Only around 77% of the sanctioned strength is filled and the working hours, the working condition of policemen. So let us stop at this. What is being done about these? Have they been implemented or not been implemented? So they have been implemented in cer cer certain aspects of them have been implemented in certain st states, but not as a whole. But political interference and uh, that is still continuing? Yes, sir. That is, there are certain examples where it, is, it has been seen that political interference. So what is to be done? According to you, what should be done? Sir, it has been seen that the rules, the reforms that were suggested, they were incorporated, but certain loopholes have still been there that... So they are not implementing, so what should be done? Sir, uh, I think first there is a need of political will from the above, that they, okay. there is... Okay, what else? Sir, secondly, uh, we have to start from right from the bottom also like at the level of district also at the level of police stations mm. where we have to reduce the workload mm. that how can you reduce the workload if there's crime there is crime yes sir how can you reduce the workload sir uh, there can be methods where there are times when they are a police officer is reporting on duty but there might not be certain work they are always on duty so personal management can be done in a proper way by how can it be done? Tell me, I am asking you. Sir, one way can be by use of proper analytics to understand that how? there are, in a district, there are certain uh, chalkies. So there, we can understand where is more workload, where is more crime. There this is normally done, isn't it? Okay, sir. So... Mm -hmm. I am sorry, sir. This is only I can think about right now. Okay, tell me this. Uh, how has the world order changed these days compared to 20 years ago? I if so, how? Sir, one is uh, the shift from unilateralism where USA was rising as a world power. Now, China is also rising in the Asia. There is a shift from Atlantic to Indo-Pacific region mm. and uh, currently the, there is Russia-Ukraine war also so there is more threat to world peace because mm. they are at logarets and there is a major war after that of World War III. 
mm-hmm. such provocation has not been done in the european region so after, after world war 3 world war 2 i am sorry sir mm. no i am sorry sir <laughs> <laughs> now tell me uh, judicial uh, overreach a lot of people are very unhappy that judiciary is interfering in the domain of the executive and the legislature what is yes. your view do you agree with this view sir uh, there have there are instances but if it is related to just judicial activism where they tell about bringing in some guidelines then it is okay but i think judiciary should not intervene in making a parallel body so there have been cases or not first thing you said there have been cases yes, sir. but sir one case was that of uh, our, there was a liquor b- uh, ban liquor shop ban near the highways which is a completely executive domain that was brought in by the so judiciary. there has been yes judicial, sir judiciary has been wrong that's what you said so there have been certain cases where they should have shown, shown some restraint okay so uh, what to do wherever there is judiciary is wrong how to correct it uh, sir there can be more i think judiciary should itself give only guidelines related to that what should be done to ensure rule of law and if that is not followed but in terms of policy making mm-hmm. which where there are certain acha do you i am sure you are reading newspapers chief justice of india made some remarks yesterday can you tell me what all he said sir he told about that there are a lot of vacancy that have been fi- filled mm-hmm. and he is working How to fill more vacancies did he say uh, sir i am not aware about the exact number i know that supreme court vacancies are almost filled now okay my last question is give us an overview of the energy sector of india please uh, sir currently around 60 uh, 70% energy is made from coal that is the thermal power plants we are moving towards renewable, renewable energy also we have crossed the 100 gigawatt target last year and currently we are working on uh, increasing the solar energy in the country and currently the there is there is the biggest solar park in india sir it is uh, bhadla solar power uh, solar park in rajasthan which district does it fall into sir i can't remember currently wale sir mr arpit you play squash or you watch squash sir last i played was in academy i play but there are less availability of squash courts okay okay why is it uh, not a very popular sport sir one is that it requires infrastructure the rackets are also uh, highly costly and secondly it re- requires a proper infrastructure it cannot be played like cricket where you just need a bat or a ball so it is generally a, that is one of the major bottleneck secondly it, ha- it is also not popularized vis a vis badminton or cricket but why is pakistan so far ahead of india sir pa- there was a time in 19 uh, in the second dec- uh, second half of the 20th century wherein there was a region in peshawar around from where certain players came like jahangir jahangir khan so what they used to do there were courts that were already built by the britishers so they used to play there and they developed a culture around that town that helped pakistan a lot and that was the time when that lineage continued and that culture continued currently pakistan is currently egypt has overtaken pakistan in that respect they have created a culture there what about india standing sir india there are certain players from india but india is not currently in the top 10 no player from india is in the top 10 so pakistan remains the number 2 player number 2 team uh, no sir pakistan is not number 2 currently what is it sir it it has faded away slipped. from the it has slipped yes it has slipped okay what is the governing body of uh, squash in india sir squash rackets federation of india okay now tell me uh, your father is in business yes sir what kind of business sir he is wholesale trader of agricultural commodities primarily three that is mustard groundnuts and gram so he must be doing very well now commodity prices have gone up yes sir in all 
sir prices of all the three commodities sir we are currently focusing more on mustard because the demand of gram is less in our area and ground nuts generally come in the winter season so it is not currently what is the impact of the ukraine war on commodity prices sir there has been rising commodity pricing which commodities sir uh, wheat and sunflower oil sunflower oil around uh, i think 50% of the world world sunflower oil supply was done from that area and wheat uh, around 30% wheat export was done from russia and ukraine so that has in inflated the prices so all this is good for india for indian exports sir i think as far as oil is concerned uh, for indian exports sir currently we uh, import a lot of edible oils so what has been talking about exports wheat exports can go up wheat prices have gone up sir uh, regarding wheat it is a mixed bag basically because currently we are provide we have provided a lot of ration in the uh, garib kalyan yeah. anyojana yeah. and currently in the harvest season the march in march there were there were rainfalls and storms so the uh, crop output <coughs> has decreased but still how much can we export now hope to export sir i am not aware about the exact numbers but can we export at all sir we can export definitely but the problem is generally the foreign countries look for a longer time period they want a commitment now we need to be careful about that before giving a commitment we need to forecast the monsoon the coming year monsoon but we have reserves we have buffer yes sir we have we are three we are having 2.5 to 3 times so in the buffer so this is this is a small damage you know because of the heat wave yes sir see heat temperatures in march yes sir i think we are quite comfortable the harvest will be probably short by 4 5 million tons wheat harvest uh, that's sir, all yes sir definitely we can export but uh, for a longer so term we should you, be cautious why are you uh, uh, looking so glum that this has happened that has happened so we may not be able to export too much uh, i am saying we should definitely go about exporting currently but we should be careful regarding long term okay what about oil you were talking about oil sir oil we generally import sunflower oil and palm oil from the mm -hmm. con other countries indonesia and malaysia have banned the export of Why oil have the banned so because the, there are there are shortages in their uh, in indonesia and malaysia mm. is it and because of the ukraine war uh, or is it because something internal has happened in indonesia so not i am sorry i am not aware about the internal I'm not aware yes sir okay now tell me uh, you know there is this ease of business which the government is which the government of india is, yes, is uh, implementing and there are certain businesses which have benefited from this has your father's business benefited from this ease of business sir ease of doing business as far as the state level is concerned there have been upgradation in the mandi infrastructure mm. so that has benefited secondly in the terms of eway bills so when you have eway bills so there is less uh red tape ism basically so it helps in that aspect now tell me you know there is a lot of un, uh, unemployment in india yes sir and most people look for jobs very few people want to get into uh, go on to become entrepreneurs yes, what is the ecosystem that uh, should should be prevalent for more people to take up entrepreneurship what is it that should be available for them for a young entrepreneur sir uh, we should start from the school first that they should be innovative mindset now as far as the ecosystem is concerned i think uh, one is the guidance that is missing now what is happening is that colleges who have their seniors who have who have been entrepreneurs they find it easy because of their contacts we should provide a atmosphere where there are more intermingling of people from the entrepreneurship so that other colleges people can also benefit so secondly Uh, infrastructure should also be provided in the regions. For example, now Bangalore is overburdened as far as the prices are high to take any uh, to for office and rent purposes. Secondly, sir, uh, there is also a problem that in the startup world there is need of skilled labor force. Mm. What is happening that the employability of the engineers in India? Yeah, you are generally on the right track. Thank you. Thank you, sir. we start with yes when you used the word world war 3 instead of world war 2 yes sir it was a slip of the tongue yes sir but the russian foreign minister has said the world is heading for a third world war yes sir should we take his word seriously 
सर वी शुड डेफिनेटली बी कॉशस बिकॉज नाउ आर्म्स आर बीन सप्लाइड फ्रॉम द नेटो मेंबर्स टू द यूक्रेन नाउ इट माइट बी अ रेटोरिक बट अवर कंसर्न शुड बी टू यूज डिप्लोमेसी टू टोन डाउन द टेंशन वॉट वर द कॉजेज ऑफ द वॉर सर इट वॉज सेंटर्ड प्राइमरीली अराउंड द नेटो मेंबरशिप इन द नाइनटीन नाइन्टीज इट वॉज सेट दैट नेटो वोट मूव ईस्टवर्ड्स टू द रशिया प्रॉमिस वॉज गिवन नाउ सिंस देन अलॉट मेनी मेंबर्स वर इंक्लूडेड इन द नेटो सो रशिया सो सॉ दिस एज अ ट्रांसग्रेशन दैट इज द रीजन दैट इज गिवन बाई रशिया हाउ मेनी मेंबर्स आर देर इन नेटो सर it's around 25 to 30 i'm not aware about the no, exact it can be either 25 or 30 it can be either 25 or 30 I, it, it's a range i am not sure about the exact you're not sure where is it headquartered sir uh, it is headquartered you're not sure it there was a meet recently i'm just confused between two or three countries it was two in three countries in the oh. it was i think in poland i can in poland i might be wrong because there was a meeting recently the of belgians would be very hurt okay sir thank if you sir. told them that they are in poland thanks sir. now have you heard this term being used the asian nato who used this term and in what context sir i am not sure about that not exact sure. it was used by china referring to quad now the quad as you know is not a military configuration yes sir india has pointed that out and at the same time the four quad countries take part in a military exercise which one is that all the four quad countries in uh, in the autumn of last year september they took part in a joint naval so exercise a, malabar exercise malabar exercise yes, now uh, how many times has uh, uh, australia taken part in it sir i am not sure about the exercise when was it started the malabar exercise sir i am sorry i am not aware. is it important for india yes sir it is important and for why? india sir uh, it builds the military capacity and naval capacity of india when we jointly ex- uh, perform an exercise it also increases the interaction between the countries and it ensures uh, our interest in the in- indian ocean region to ensure rule based order Okay. Does uh, India carry out military exercises with Russia also? Yes, sir. We carry out military exercises. And which ones are those? Sir, it's Indra. Correct. And was it held last year? Sir, I'm not sure about it. All right. Now, there is a strong difference between the United States and Russia. There always has been, but in the context of the Ukraine war. the difference has become very very sharp yes sir we have abstained on resolutions re- relating to to russia the us has not been happy although they have said that okay we understand that the time is coming when we have to choose between one or the other because yes, of the world situation which one would you say we should choose should we give up friendship with russia or with the us so i think that's where diplomacy comes i no, think no, you are going to be a diplomat the foreign service is one of your career options if you were to write a paper what would you suggest sir do you have to take compulsorily aside or suppose you have to give reasons why sir if i have to take one side necessarily then i will take the side of uh, europe and usa sir uh, the reason for that is there are Uh, larger countries in uh, us and uh, europe and we are primarily dependent for defense exports where we can uh, diversify wi- as far as europe and usa is also con- us us okay. is concerned now as far as the us we have this 2 plus 2 dialogue yes sir we had it recently you would have followed it yes sir who were the interlocutors from the american side from our side it was external affairs mm-hmm. minister jay shankar yes, defense minister rajnath singh yes sir Singh. who were there from the us side sir i am not aware about the names you are not aware of yes sir okay my last question you have put the foreign service as your second career option yes sir what is the difference between an embassy and a high commission sir i am not sure about that i'm thank sorry i will definitely read about it sir thank you thank you sir
हरप्रीत यस सर यू आर ग्रेजुएट इन मैथमेटिक्स यस सर मैथमेटिक्स एंड कंप्यूटिंग सर मैथमेटिक्स एंड कंप्यूटर नाउ टेल मी सपोजिंग आई एम रिटायरिंग टूडे थर्टियथ अप्रैल एंड आई डिसाइड टू कम्यूट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ आउट ऑफ माई पेंशन यस सर वॉट वी एंड दिस कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटेशन इज फॉर फिफ्टीन ईयर्स वॉट वी माई कंप्यूटेशन अमाउंट हाउ विल यू कैलकुलेट सर इट वुड बी टू टू फाइव इट इट इज फॉर फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड फॉर फिफ्टीन ईयर्स यस सर इट वुड बी टू लैख ट्वेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू गेट दैट फॉर फिफ्टीन ईयर्स सर आई एम सॉरी सर आई एम अनेबल टू अंडरस्टैंड द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट कम्यूटेशन ऑफ पेंशन मीन्स नो सर आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड सी आई एम टू गेट सम पेंशन यस आउट ऑफ दैट आई हैव डिसाइडेड टू कम्यूट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड इट मीन्स दैट वॉट एवर आई वुड हैव गॉट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ फॉर फिफ्टीन ईयर्स आई एम गेटिंग इट टूडे ओके ओके सर दैट इज कम्यूटेशन ओके सर नाउ टेल मी वॉट फॉर्मूला विल यू सर आई थिंक वी ऑल्सो नीड टू ब्रिंग इन द प्रेजेंट वैल्यू ऑफ दैट फ्यूचर वैल्यू ऑफ द रुपीज दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग प्रेजेंट वैल्यू हैज टू बी टेक यस सर एंड वॉट एल्स वॉट एल्स डू यू नीड प्रेजेंट वैल्यू हैज टू बी कैलकुलेट यू नीड सर वी आई इफ इंटरेस्ट रेट कैन ऑल्सो बी टेकन इफ यू आर विलिंग टू इन्वेस्ट दैट अमाउंट इन पर्टिकुलर इन्वेस्टमेंट पोर्टफोलियो ओके different question yes sir you come from uh, western up area yes sir which is sugar growing yes, sugar cane crop is very prominent there yes sir now tell me what is, exactly is the status of sugar industry at the moment and how has it changed over last year last 10 years or so uh, sir sugar industry uh, currently it is located in both south india and the north india the efficiency of the plants in northern india is lesser than the southern india because of the reasons such as uh, uh, frost and the extreme weather conditions sir uh, there are debt that is not been paid the amount of sugar cane is currently not being paid in complete amount by the by the sugar mills and nowhere nowhere they are paid in full sir yes sir basically there are certain uh, arrears from the sugar mill side to the farmers currently mm-hmm. and the reason so, how has the sugar farmer or sugar industry performed during last 10 15 years has there been any change sir not any major change that i think can think of i can think of ethanol blending that has in because yes, of that, that is that is one area which yes, has sir. been allowed and that has improved viability of sugar mills. viability of sugar mills that has yes. increased uh sir i can think of only that okay now farm laws was was a big issue in your area yes sir okay what are what are your views on this sir uh, farm laws were primarily bought to make a single market where farmers have more op- options to sell it outside the mandis also mm-hmm. and essential commodities act was also relaxed so that there can be more no, don't tell me the provision yes sir tell me what are your views sir i think uh, it would have helped the farmers given that there is no monopoly that was allowed to exist in the <coughs> trading <coughs> sector of the farming what were the farmers objecting about that so there were apprehensions one apprehension was related to monopoly that a time will come when uh trader will dictate the terms a big trader will di- dictate the terms of the uh dictate the terms in general and second is they were apprehensive about the msp that msp might go away when this is done so w- what are your views msp should continue or msp should slowly and gradually be abolished sir given the remunerative nature of farming so th- there are very high pressures on a farmer and the uh, yield is sometimes low so i think msp should continue for certain time because it also is a way of fe- fe- feeding into the pds system all right thank you
थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच आवर डिस्कशन विद यू इज ओवर थैंक यू सर सो काइंडली वेट आउटसाइड फॉर फ्यू मिनट्स और टू कॉल बैक थैंक यू सर